In source flow, we have seen that from a point of the source, the water or a fluid which will go, uh, the water or a fluid will go radially outwards. So, for a source flow, what we are going to study now is the pressure distribution. So, let us consider this small point that is as your source. Now, from this source point, all the fluid will travel radially outwards. Now, the best example of a source flow is a water which is flowing from the tap. As it hits the ground, it will flow radially outwards. But when it flows radially outwards, after covering some amount of distance from the source, this part, that is the entire fluid will be at rest. Let us consider Bernoulli's or apply Bernoulli's principle at these two points. So let us consider the pressure at this point. Let us consider this point as 1 and let us consider this point over here as 2. So during this course of 1 and 2 what happens is the fluid will flow radially outwards. When it flows radially outwards it will come to a point where the fluid velocity will be zero. So over here we can apply what is Bernoulli's principle. So what does Bernoulli's principle say? That is P1 upon rho g plus u r 1 square upon 2 g plus z 1 is equals to p 2 upon rho g plus u r square by 2 plus z 2. Now let us see what are all these terms. First term is actually pressure energy head that is the amount of pressure energy at the source. The second term is kinetic energy head the amount of energy which it governs during the flow. Third is the potential energy head. The amount of potential of a point, uh, amount of potential at a given point. Since this is a two dimensional flow, your Z1 will be equals to Z2 because it is a two dimensional flow. So the water is going to spill on this surface and it is going to go radially outwards. So this is the first point and second point is over here. During the journey, the entire potential is on the surface that is same. So these two will be zero. Uh, these two will be equal. And at this point over here, here the UR2 will be zero. And as it goes away from the center, the pressure, the velocity is going to reduce. So, let us write down this part. This part is going to be 0. So, what we will get over here, let us write down that that is P1 upon rho g minus P2 upon rho g is equals to that minus of u r 1 square by 2 g. Now what is u r 1? u r 1 is the radial component of velocity or radial velocity at point 1 which will be actually which will be maximum. Now as it travels further what happens is the pressure over here P1 minus this will be P atmospheric or P0 upon rho g is equals to minus u r 1 square by 2 g. Now over here pressure P2 is equals to P0 because it is the atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure when it will be equal to the pressure 
it is the atmospheric pressure p2 is the atmospheric pressure applied on the liquid so over here the value of g is cancelled out and what you get over here is p1 minus p0 upon rho is equals to minus u r square by 2 or this can be written as p1 minus p0 upon uh, p1 minus p0 is equals to minus of rho into u r1 square by 2. So we can further write down this part as p0 minus p i is equals to rho into u r1 square by 2. So over here the pressure energy gets converted or rather the velocity decreases as it passes the velocity decreases as it passes from the center to the circumference hence the negative sign represents that there is decrease in the velocity i hope you have understood what is pressure distribution in a source flow